So good evening everyone. This is a question from graded worksheet of mathematics. So the question number three, we are going to discuss question number three now. It says that a sniper is sitting on the top of tower at a height of 60 feet and there are four workers K, L, M, M and M standing at the distance of 96 feet, 90 feet, 82 feet, 75 feet respectively from the base of the town. The height of K, L, M and N are 6 feet, 5.5 feet, 5.7 feet and 5.2 feet respectively. The sniper misfires a bullet at an angle of theta with the horizontal since the range covered by bullet is short, the path of the bullet is assumed to be straight line path. And if tan theta is equal to 2 by 3, choose the correct option. So this is an MCQ question. So among this, any one will be a correct option. So let's see how to approach this question. You can see this diagram it is given. A sniper is standing over at the point of S. And the position of N, M, L and K are already given. And the distance from the base is also given. And the height of each individual worker is also given, which we saw in, a, in the question data. If you can observe this question, has given the height also. So let's see, these are the height which have been given respectively. These are the height which have been given respectively. So let's find out how to do this question. Okay. Now I have already made the figure and I have also uh, placed the bodies with their respective height. So as it was said that M is having 5.2, M is having 5.7 and L is having 5.5 and K is having 6 feet. So we have positioned it and now it was already given that uh, sniper is sitting at S and if he misfires a bullet which makes an angle with the horizontal which is 2 by 3 and the path that it is taking it's a kind of a straight line it's a kind of a straight line okay. now one thing it was already given that this line makes an angle tan theta with the horizontal that is 2 by 3. It means that it, it, it will somewhere it touch to the uh, it will somewhere touch to the x-axis and it will be making and uh, if suppose it touches somewhere at the x-axis like this and it makes your uh, angle this one this as theta which is already given okay. So that is the meaning that it is making angle with the horizontal that is your tan theta is equal to 2 by 3. Okay. Now, now if you observe this carefully these are nothing but these are a points in your first quadrant. If you observe it carefully these are nothing but it gives you a points in the first coordinate. So let me mark this this point. Everyone please focus this point, this point as uh, your n dash. And what will be your n dash? Let me mark it with some, yeah, this will be your n dash. So the n dash will be your x axis is how much? x axis is 75. And your y axis is how much? It's 5.2. Similarly, I am going to mark M dash. Again, I will mark in uh, X axis that is 82 and your Y axis as 5.7. And then similarly for L dash, this will be what? It will be your 90 comma 5.5 and your K dash will be 96 comma 6. So I have marked these points. Now what is the thing that we have to do? Let's find out what we have to do. We want to know that when the fire, when the fire will take place, then which among this will be hurt or nobody will be hurt or 
there will be some people who, who will get hurt or all will be same. These are given in the option. Now, how to approach this question? Now, if you analyze this question, this question is everything is based on the slope. Everything is based on the slope. Okay, now this is what this is the head of you can see this red point is the head of the worker and the black dot shows the foot of the worker. It shows the foot of the worker. Now if you if you join the head, if you join the head to the top of this uh, building and again you join this with your uh, bottom to the building top so this part that i am good getting this part that i am getting suppose this is my uh, part that i am getting this part that i am getting if this slope of these two lines you can already i have already showed you which two lines i am talking about if these two line slope will make a range definitely this will make a range which i have shaded uh, with the red color if your this line the bullet which has been fired which has been fired whatever the slope uh, of that line has been uh, calculated or have been said if the that value falls in the range of this falls in the range of this definitely this worker is going to get hurt because the position or the path that it is taking it lies between this red region similarly if you go for the m worker the same scenario is there again you have to go to draw uh, now let me make you uh, again you can just join this top with the head i have joined this top with the head and again i've joined again i'll be joining from here to from the bottom to to the top again so again i am going to get some range let me mark this range with so if you join if you mark these so if other at the turn or whatever the path that bullet is making if that value lies between the range of these two slopes then your m will make it hurt, will get hurt and similarly we can go for l and then for k okay so what we exactly need to find out first of all we need to find out the um, we need to find out the uh, slope of the line joining the top that is where sniper uh, is sitting and to the head of the worker and the next will the slope that we are going to calculate is the line joining the sleeper and the foot of the worker so let me mark it with the, uh, some a point so that it will be clear to you people so let me say that my small m is the slope joining the head of worker And my M2, sorry, and my M1 will be a slope joining the foot of the worker. Okay, so these are the values that I have got of. Okay, so now. Now we already have the point for the head one and we also have the point for the foot one. Okay, so we have the value for both of them. Okay, now individually we will be calculating the value. Individually we will be calculating the value and then we will be comparing them with this path theta is equal to 2 by 3. Now you may ask that what is the use of this? Now this value gives my slope 
M, which is the line that is forming when the sniper misfires the bullet. It means the actual path or the actual line that the bullet is coming, that is the slope we have already given because we already know the definition of slope. The definition of slope means a low slope is that a, a non-vertical line L making an angle with the positive x-axis in a anti-clockwise that is what that is your slope so here already the slope is given tan theta which can be written as m and your actual means whatever the bullet you get misfires that is your actual uh, line that it is following that slope m is equal to nothing but your 0 0.6666 the power bar it will go up to infinity okay so one by one we will be calculating and we will be finding out the range and then we will be seeing that which one we will be so is seeing that between which two ranges these this 0 0.6666 value you we are observing so let me mark it with this is for n this is for n L and K. So first of all we will be dealing with here let's see we will be dealing with N first for N. So let's find out first of all M2. Now you already know what is M2. It is slope joining the head of the worker. This is the head and we have already calculated uh, the points. What will be the uh, points of the head? That will be uh, this one and the upper one what will be this point this point will be nothing but it will be it will be 0 comma 60 so you already know the value of your um, how to find out the slope slope is found uh, slope uh, formula is how to find the slope slope is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 this is the formula for finding out the slope if you try to calculate the find of the slope then uh, this will be let us treat this one as our uh, x1 and y1 and that one be uh, x2 and y2 so let's uh, note this point so our uh, m1 first of all let's calculate what is m2 so this m2 will be given by This M2 will be given by 60 minus 5.2 by 0 minus 75. Let's calculate this. You are going to get 0 0.730. Okay. Now if you calculate M1 similarly, you are going to get we have this is m1 is what slope joining the foot of the worker slope joining the foot of the worker so foot is how much you already know it's your 75 comma 0 this will be what this will be nothing but your 75 comma 0 this will be 75 comma 0 so the foot will be the foot will be here let me write it so that it will be clear clear it will be nothing but your 75 comma 0 so let's find out the um, m1 it will be something like 60 minus 0 by 0 minus 75 so when you calculate the value you are going to get 0 0.8 so this is the range the range is minus 0 0.7302 to minus 0 0.8 so definitely your 0 0.666 is not going to come in this range so m is totally safe now let's calculate for m so let's calculate m2 m2 is again you can see slope joining the head of the worker so let's calculate you have we have already seen that the coordinate points or the points are 82 comma 52 if you calculate let's calculate it again the similar uh, thing will be there uh, 60 uh, minus 5.7 which will be divided by 0 by 75 which will give you the value this will be nothing but your 0. Point minus 0. 0.6621 and 
when you calculate m1 similarly that is foot of the m it will be nothing but 82 comma 82 comma 0 so it will be what 82 comma 0 again just calculate the value 60 minus 0 0 minus 82 calculate the value it will be your minus 0 0.731 so these two values are there and if you see carefully this value lies in both of the range so m is not safe m is not safe now let's calculate for m now uh, l now and let's find out whether he is safe or not so let's calculate m2 again the head let's calculate 60 minus 5.5 divided by 0 minus 90 which will give you the value that is this will give you value 0 0.60778 and if you calculate m1 this will give you the value 60 minus 0 and 0 minus 90 so this is how much this is again minus 0 0.66666 to the power bar so it may happen that it can take this path and it can hit to the foot of l so definitely l is also not safe because both of the uh, both of the path is seen to be having same slope so there is chance that both of the path are same or collinear so l is also not safe now let's calculate for m now k now so again we are going to find m2 m2 uh, is nothing but slope joining the head of the worker so that is 60 minus 6 by 0 minus 96 this value gives you minus 0 0.5625 and if you calculate m1 which is the foot one so the k foot is uh, 96 comma 0 so if you find out the value that is 60 minus 0 0 minus 96 the value will be minus 0 0.625 so you can see clearly see that your uh, 0 0.666 to the power bar is not lying in both of this value so hence K is absolutely safe. K is absolutely safe. So the, the safe people are, let me just show you, the safe people is N and K, but unsafe people are N and L. So let's see the uh, question and let's see the options. Now, what are the options given? So all workers are safe. No, all workers are not safe as we have seen that there are few workers who may get harmed or yeah, may get injured all the worker are except uh, safe except k now we saw that there are two worker who are not safe now only k and n are safe let's see whether k and n are only safe yes n and k are safe definitely n and k are safe but we'll mark this point and then we will be seeing whether the next one will be can be correct or not Okay, so no one is safe, definitely two people were safe, we saw. Only K is safe, safe, no, K was not safe, but you can see that N was also safe. All the workers are safe except M, no, all the workers are not safe. Uh, there are two workers only who are safe that we saw, that is the first and the last worker and the between two, M and M, they are not safe. So hence, you can say that only K and N are safe. So, this is the correct answer. This is the correct answer. Thank you so much, guys. If you have any doubt, you can contact me. And please like this, share and comment below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, everyone.